Hi students, how are you? I believe you are all very busy with your online classes. Good. In our previous class, we have completed exercise given under vocabulary. Today, we will learn defining and non-defining relative class. Before we go to defining and non-defining, I will take you to relative pronouns and their roles. Look at that screen. Here, I have given you relative pronouns. We use who and whom when we refer to people. When we refer time, we use when, which, that, what are used to refer things or objects and animals. That also used to refer people. Whose goes with possession, where gives us the details of place and why is used to highlight the reason. What does a relative pronoun do in a sentence? Look at the slide. These relative pronouns are used to connect a class or a phrase to a noun or a pronoun. Now, tell me, what is a class? You have learnt about a class in your previous classes. Now, I just make you to recall. Look at the sentence given here. I can't speak Hindi fluently, but I can manage. I have underlined two parts. Yes, I can't speak, uh, speak Hindi fluently. I can manage. And each underlined part has its subject and verb. That means a class is a group of words containing a subject and a verb which form a sentence or part of a sentence. Now, we should understand what is a relative class. Look at this slide. A relative class is a one that is connected to the main class of the sentence using a relative pronoun. Look at the example. The express which is laid by two hours has just arrived. What is the relative pronoun used in this sentence? Which. Good. Here the relative pronoun is which. Then tell me what is the relative clause in this sentence? Which is led by to us. Very good. Now with this knowledge we will shift on to the next point. Look at this slide. How many types do we have in relative class? Yes, defining relative class and non-defining relative class. First, we will learn about defining relative class. Look at the first example. The man is my uncle. Imagine a group of men are standing and speaking to each other. I want to show my uncle to you. So I told you that the man is my uncle. There you see men speaking to each other. You may feel difficult to identify my uncle. If I say the man who is standing at the gate is my uncle, you can easily understand. Here I am giving certain specification. Yes, so I said the man who is standing at the gate is my uncle. Which is the relative class here? Who is standing at the gate? Very good. Now go to the second sentence, second example. She is my student. Who is my student? She. And there are many girls sitting. Then I should be clear. So I have told you that she who has a long hair is my student. Here, yes, 
which is the relative class here who has a long hair here these relative classes the first one is who is standing at the gate and now who has a long hair are defining the subject yes our pronoun they they make us clear who or which we are talking about have you understood the defining relative clause yes it gives us an essential information it helps us to identify the person or a thing we are talking about is it clear students good now we switch on to non defining relative class look at the examples given here look at the first example my sister maitri is a teacher she lives in guntur yes so here i have uh, combined the sentences using relative pronoun see my sister maitri who lives in guntur is a teacher you can clearly understand that i have a sister and her name is maitri and she is a teacher yes here the relative class which is the relative class who lives in guntu provides us an extra information about maitri it is actually not defining the subject but providing more information even in the second example it is clear that i have a son and his name is paul see uh, paul is my son he studies in tirupati these two sentences are combined using who relative pronoun who paul who studies in tirupati is my son uh, here here also the relative class which is the relative class who studies in tirupati the relative class provides us an ex extra details about paul which is actually not necessary to understand who paul is have you understood have you understood students so it is clear that non defining relative class provides an extra information and it is written in between commas see have you understood here see in the previous slide i haven't used commas s yes? but here i have used commas why you know no you know it is written in between commas because it just adds and uh, adds an extra non essential dimension about the person or thing we actually don't need it to understand who or what is being referred to i think i have made it clear to you all is it have you understood yes defining relative class defines the subject whereas non defining relative class provides an extra information so it is written in uh, written in between commas is it clear students okay good then here Uh, uh there are certain points to be remembered see here you have to note these points uh, look at the first example here i have used a relative pronoun and combined the sentences see look at my car which i bought yesterday and here i have used uh, which are that that means we can also use that instead of which and you should remember the that that can be used instead of who who are which in defining relative class but not in non defining relative class and we should also remember that we should not use why in non uh, non defining relative class okay then see 
we have to omit the subject or object pronoun or the repetition of subject or object that's why here in the when i when i am combining sentences using a relative pronoun uh, i have omitted the car in the first sentence car i have used but in the second sentence uh, car is there i omitted that because we should not repeat the subject or object pronouns um, or repetition of subject or object that is why i omitted that that you can see in the second example also he gave me a book i read it twice so it here shows the book so he gave me a book which i read twice now the next point is that usually we have preposition at the end of the class is it lata who i worked with okay end of the class in formal english sometimes the preposition will come at the beginning of the class followed by which or whom look at this uh, sentence which i have uh, written um, written lata with whom i worked received the award so so what what do you understand here yes sometimes the preposition preposition will come at the beginning of the class followed by which or whom this you can see in the third sentence i have told you have you understood students okay good here see i have given you 12 sentences what you have to do is you have to combine these sentences using relative pronouns who which or whom and you should also identify whether the sentence is defining relative class or non defining a relative class understood uh, after completing your answers you just post them in your group uh, until then have a nice and wonderful day